Origin Camp's on right now. Yeah. We know about the bonding sessions. We know about the content mm. days. Mm. We know about the captains around at the end of it. What happens in those few days in between with your training sessions? I want a bit more insight into what an Origin Camp looks like from that perspective. Oh, um, sort of after the bonding session, I sort of forget. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, um, it's pretty structured. Uh, you know, usually the boys, I'm not sure where they're going. I haven't spoken to, like, on the phone to them where they're going, but usually they'd go to the Gold Coast. I think it's Gold Coast um, this year. They'll go to... Sanctuary Cove. Sanctuary Cove, that's yeah. what it's called. Yeah. Sanctuary Cove's up there, and um, it's not as intense as everyone probably thinks it is. It's a lot of relaxing, but when the sessions are on, they're sharp, man. I, like, I've never been in a camp where you have no errors when you warm up. You have no errors when you're training. It's You've got the elite of the elite. So, you know, usually a day would look like training in the morning, uh, straight out of a team meeting. Before every before every training session, you will have a, a video session. Mm. So there's no, you know, usually when you have a video session in a normal week for the NRL, it'll be on a Monday. You don't have any more after that. Um, they'll have their individuals, I would say, um, as well. And that'll be done by, you know, assistant coaches. But, yeah, they, they'll go out there and they know what they're, they're ready to do. And then gym in the afternoon. And in the me meantime, like, obviously they're on a golf course out there. Yeah, so yeah. there's a lot of relaxing. There's a lot of stuff on that. But also a lot of promos. So, you know, things that they have to do, um, you know, in between where, you know, they might have to go to a lunch and, you know, here and there. So it's, it is a, it's a pretty packed week. But when – I would say when Saturday comes around, that's when none of the promo stuff is done. It's all finished. So Friday's probably the last day for all that. And, um, yeah, Saturday is where they start to really uh, click into gear. I'd say they have Sunday off, um, Monday a uh, little session, and then Tuesday's their, their team run, run, captain's run, uh, and it's all go um, from there. But mostly it's pretty – yeah, it's pretty relaxing. Like you would you'd think because you don't need these guys to be out on their feet a lot. Yeah. Um they they already do a lot of training when it comes to um you know in their NRL clubs, but also they've also all got their own um you know schedules that they do uh when they when they do weights and everything like that. So for instance, like the Broncos might do weights in the morning and you know they they there they might be some, you know, so it's they don't do everything all at the same time as well. Yeah. But it's a it's a really cool week. Uh you get to meet a lot of people, um, a lot of coffees, a lot of uh time away, but also time together as well. Like they they they're, they're pretty close. They don't really go too far without each other. Uh it's 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 honestly one of the most enjoyable weeks that you've you you're a part of when you play footy. So, yeah, it's so much fun. It sounds horrible, doesn't it? What are you yeah. what are you working on in those training sessions? Is it basically just the shapes and your sets that you're going to run and it's Bill saying you might call this this play at, at the Broncos but we call it this at Queensland? Like what well, are you, what are you working well, on? Well, everything is the same at the Queensland. So well, since you've been in your – since you've come from under 18s to 19s, 20s, we, there's nothing changes. All the all the plays are very similar – well, exactly the same and they're called exactly the same. Right. Um, so that's that's how cool it is from coming, you know, obviously from – I was never in those young sides, but I was there to – I've been an assistant coach at those sides before and, yeah, they're, they're all the same. Um, they might change the names uh, when, they, when you get to the, the big time because obviously over the years <coughs> people figure that out. And, well, yeah, yeah, like a bloke like Mulatalo that was in the Maroon system playing for Cronulla we would hear a shape and know what you boys were exactly. running then, surely. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, it's – yeah, things things like that. So it's – yeah, the, really things don't really change when you, when, you, when you go into Queensland camp from when you're, you know, you're a young fella. And I would say – I mean, I don't know, but it would, surely it would be similar for New South Wales. I mean, it'd have to be. I, you, well, we we had to leave time to have like those barefoot walking sessions oh, on yeah. the grass and stuff. Yeah. So, and we had yoga. You, you did everything. craft with the Gatorade yeah. bottle in the hose as well, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> Who, me or Freddie? <laughs> Freddie, Freddie, Freddie. Both of us. No, yeah. So those, you know, the the plays when you when you run them, they're all very similar. They haven't really changed, yeah. but it'll just be the way they play. You yeah. know, so if it is. For instance, let's get to a Larry for a third and then have a shift. You know, there, there will be different, but all the plays will say the same, so there's no confusion. You practice um, little trick shots and stuff. Oh, definitely. As well. I was down at um, Sanctuary Cove two years ago when I was working for the Hunters and they did an opposed session with the Maroons. Oh, and wow. Lead up, in the lead-up to game one, I saw Harry Grant 
uh, play the ball on the right tram line, right near the, like just out from the try line. He picked the ball up, turned looked around. infield, did a U turn and grub it in behind the line for Kurt Capewell, mm. who scored Tried. that try in game three. To win it. I remember. Wow. To win it. Very well. To win Maybe it. to win it. So, yeah. yeah, I remember seeing that and going, oh, that was nice. And then six weeks later, I saw it in game three. So, that was a cool little insight. Oscar well. saw that try before it was yeah. cool. Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> I didn't bet on it. <laughs> but there's also uh, team run. So, it's because it's mostly Queensland um, reporters. There's a there's a no camera policy, so oh. no cameras, so nothing. So once, once sort of sorry, not just team run, but once it gets later in the week, that's when they'll try things. Because right. yes, you can use you can say it by you know mouth to people, but yep. unless you're seeing it, sometimes people don't understand it. Yep. So. Yeah, there's, it, it, it gets really intense like that. And security, you know, pretty heavy security when it comes to like that yeah, as well. Good. Anywhere you go. <laughs> um, Rightfully so. I think one of the coolest. Lock that th- down. <laughs> I think one of the coolest things when you play Origin in Queens, like in Brisbane, Suncorp Stadium, and you stay at the hotel, you would get a full escort, a full police escort. And that is, you know, I, I heard about it, but never really experienced it. That was one of the coolest things. Like trying to go on over the Queen, what's the. Um, uh, the Story Bridge. Story, yeah, no, no, not over the Story Captain Bridge. Cook. Like, yeah, going towards Sun yeah, Stadium yeah. from the casino, yeah. they just fully stop everyone. Good. Road. Like, and, and there's no cars can get Who's through. Who's going to object to that? Like, <laughs> and you can hear, you hear a beep, 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 you know, everyone beeping on the highway mm. because the, the, the Queensland bus is going to the stadium. 